Hello. Today we're going to work with circles. We're going to see if we can find the circumference of a circle, and I'm going to hopefully show you how easy this is going to be. So, circumference of circles. The circumference of circles. Now, a few things we're going to get out of the way first. First of all, what is circumference? Well, circumference, circumference, the distance around a circle. The distance around a circle. Now, there's a few other vocabulary words that we need to clear up. First of all, let's draw a couple of circles. So there's one. And in this circle, we're going to find our center, and we're going to go out. So we have our center, and we're going to go out. From the center out is called the radius, the radius. And that's usually labeled with a little r. So this is our radius. Then we're going to make another circle. We're going to find the center of it. And this time we're going to cut it in half, making sure you go through the center. Remember what that was called? You're right. This is called your diameter. This is your diameter. And diameter is usually represented with a small d. Now there's another vocabulary word that don't really come across a lot in seventh grade, but just in case, let's make another circle. Find your center. So you have your circle, you have your center. This time you're going to find the chord of the circle. And what that means it's a line that goes from two sides of your circle, even though your circle doesn't really have sides, two points of a circle, but it does not, and it does have to be a straight line, but it does not go through the center. So it's like taking a piece of it off with a straight line, but it cannot go through your center. Okay. So we have core, we have diameter, and we have your radius. Now, anytime you're looking for circumference, the first thing you have to use, you guessed it, a formula. So, must use formula. And you're going to hear me say that a lot when we're talking about geometry. You must use a formula. Okay. Now, when you're dealing with circumference, you actually get two formulas to choose from. You have one, that is C equals 2 pi, that we're looking at the thing right there, R, which is radius, of course. Then you also have another one, C equals pi D. This is an or. You can choose whichever one you want to use depending on the information given. So we have 2 pi r or we have pi d. Now don't forget if you had to write this out long ways, this one would be c equals circumference equals 2 times the pi times the radius. If you were to write this one out long ways, you would have circumference equals pi times the diameter. Now this one looks shorter than this one by one variable, but you're gonna realize they're actually the same thing. So let's go ahead and try some examples together. All right, let's go ahead and draw a circle.
find your center. So we have our circle and we have our center. And I want it to have a radius of 21. So 21 inches. 21 inches for the radius. Now I need to find the circumference, or I need to find the distance going around the circle. So the distance going around